Grammar speed round number two. Here we go. There is probably no story more dramatic than baseball's great hitter and right fielder, Hank Aaron. The answer to this question is then baseballs. Because we have an unlike comparison. There is probably no story more dramatic than we have to say than that of put that right there of baseball's great hitter and right fielder Hank Aaron. The SAT trolls love this air. It's a tricky one to catch, but don't miss it. Next. When they were asked to compare Norman Rockwell's paintings to painter Robert Rauschenberg, the students entered into a prolonged discussion about the representation of reality in art. Do you see the error? I hope you do, because it's the same as the last air, an unlike comparison. When they were asked to compare Norman Rockwell's paintings to those of, we must say, to those of Robert Rausch, painter Robert Rauschenberg, the students, blah, blah, blah. You might say, oh, but when they were asked is passive voice, who cares? It's okay. If you can fix passive voice on the sentence improvement section, great. Here on the air ID section, let's just stick to actual outright errors. Number three of ten. Members of the Alvin Ailey Dance Company have once again shown how the combination of strength and being agile can produce beautiful movements. We have another parallelism error. The combination of strength and agility. We want the noun paired with another noun and not a being agile. Next. Unlike Thomas, neither Leslie or her younger brother Philip has an interest in a career in law. You got it. Neither goes with nor, baby. Neither nor either or is the other pairing. Okay, that is a misuse of that expression. During my most recent trip, I came across a wonderful antique store wandering in the old quarter of the city. What's wrong here? Look closely, there is an air. It's a dangling modifier. Do you see this phrase, wandering in the old quarter of the city? Modifiers must be placed directly next to that which they modify. This modifier does not, in fact, modify the antique store. It would be funny to see an antique store wandering in the old quarter of the city, but clearly the protagonist of the sentence is doing so. So we must say something like, during my most recent trip, maybe as I wandered in the old quarter of the city, or during my most recent trip, I, wandering in the old quarter of the city, came across a wonderful antique store. Number six, at the art show, Amy enjoyed looking at her friend Mark's innovative paintings, which she thought were more original than the other artists. Notice this extended line means the air continues, so the other artists is the fourth and final choice. Again, when I extend the line, you must pick up what is underlined on the following line. So take a second and closer look. Amy enjoyed looking at her friend's Mark's, her friend Mark's innovative paintings, which she thought were more original than the other artists. The error is, in fact, this for yet again a unlike comparison. You cannot compare Mark's paintings to the other people who are the artists. Although you might argue that Amy thought Mark's paintings were more interesting than the other people. But the SAT is going to say that this is, in fact, an unlike comparison. Ms. Kovac proudly displayed her research group's most ingenious invention, a vacuum cleaner that empties its own dust bag when pressing a button. Again, air three, that continues. So that empties its own is the third choice. Do you see the air? We have another dangling modifier. Where is it? Bam, pressing a button. The dust bag isn't pressing a button. Who is pressing a button? That modifier belongs next to, say, Ms. Kovac. You could say pressing a button. Ms. Kovac proudly displayed her research groups, blah, blah, blah. Dangling modifier. Don't miss it.
Home stretch. Social scientists agree that a system for exchanging goods and services is not only present but also of necessity in all schools. Do you see the error? It is a parallelism error. After the phrase not only we have the adjective present, after the other half of this phrase requiring parallelism, we have the phrase of necessity, a prepositional phrase, not good. We need necessary. So it reads not only present, but also necessary. Two more. The novel Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen was once more widely read and was more popular in high schools in the United States than Charlotte Bronte. If you don't get this one yet, go back and review. We have an unlike comparison. We're comparing the novel to the author Charlotte Bronte, who you might imagine uh, may have been unpopular in an American high school, but that clearly is not what the author of this sentence is trying to say. And last, but not least, the question of whether certain chemical fertilizers are a curse or are they a blessing is still being debated. We have another parallelism. Whether certain chemical fertilizers are a curse, that's a noun, right? Or a blessing, let's scrap that part. Or a blessing, so the error is, or are they? Try, trying to turn it into a question. I hope you did well on these 10 for uh, the large scale or second order errors, and I'll see you in the next speed round.